morning. Today is Sunday, and I'm gonna fix a. Uh, I'm pre preparing a balsam butt pork roast. Got it on sale, 99 cents per pound. So I think I paid like seven dollars for this one. I have the oven preheated to 350. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a few little holes in here, and I'm going to place the garlic that I've cut up in those holes. Just for flavor, that's all. It's already been washed. Or if there's some deep crevices like here, what I did is, it was some fat on that bottom layer, I trimmed all that fat off. Light flavor, not the fat. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're adding the garlic to the crevices and to some of the holes that I've actually made in the roast. Here, down here, and that's it. Now I'm adding a pack of the Lipton, can you see it? The Lipton onion soup. And I add this to both my pork and beef roast. With the beef, I use the beefy onion. With the pork, I just use the regular onion. Now with this, uh, it kind of makes a little gravy. You may end up having to put some of that, uh, I may add both of them today. So I'm gonna make a, this is a pretty big roll. Maybe a small one, I'll probably just use one. I'm gonna use both of these today. I hope it doesn't make it too salty. That's why I don't put any other salt. I'll put pepper, a little cayenne pepper, but not any more salt. So also what I've done is I cut up a small onion. Yes, it's onion in the onion soup, but I also want more onion because I am going to make a gravy to this. You put the place the garlic in there and also I like bell pepper and all of my gravies. That is all you do to this. You put it on 350 and you let it bake it's probably gonna bake about three hours I'll come back and show you I may make a little gravy with by just adding a little cornstarch um, just thicken it a little bit I won't use like a gravy seasoning pack or anything because it's like I said that lifted onion soup is salty already and so this is all you do to prepare this I'll bring you back and show you later This time I think I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings. I'm just gonna do garlic powder, black pepper. Remember, no salt. The onion super salt and onion powder. And that's all we're gonna do with this. Okay, so after about an hour and a half, this is what your um, Boston butt roast looks like and see you have your broth at the grave at the, at the gravy at the bottom Some of that is grease so we're gonna have to end up having the strain but remember how to cut a lot of the fat out of the roast Okay, so now let's make a little slurry for the gravy Okay, so to add to the uh, The liquor at the bottom of the pot for my gravy. I am going to add I have this uh, chicken flavor bouillon. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of that to my water. I really should be whisking this, but this is fine. It's going to do what it needs to do once it gets in there. So all I'm going to use is that. And also, I browned some flour for some gravy I made. And I had this left that I stored in this container with the lid. I'm going to also use some of this. This is just going to be a thickening agent for your gravy. And sometimes I just add it right into the dish. But this time, since I wanted to use that bouillon, you really could add it right into that. I guess I'm just being extra today. <laughs>
and welcome to all the people that subscribe to my page i remember at one time i only had like well you have to start with zero right the first one but i think i'm up to six thirty something or twenty something so hi everybody if you have any good recipes please share yours as well we can learn from each other right so we're gonna mix this up i'm not gonna take out the whisk because honestly i don't want to wash a lot of dishes today <laughs> just keeping it real okay so this is good enough for me we're gonna add this to our pot and slide this back so you can see me add this to it and all i'm gonna do is just pour it in there later we may add some more water but i don't want to add anything else that's going to uh increase the salt content because that chicken bouillon is a little salty and so is remember i told you that uh, lips and onion soup okay so we'll probably add a little more water later because it's going to cook down so we're going to add this back to the oven probably for another hour and a half okay and i'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's finished Oh, I'm sorry. The meal for today, for today is the Boston Buck pork roast, rice gravy. I had some candy yams, cabbage greens, and purple hole and black peas and cornbread and peach sauce. So this is really a Sunday meal. Enjoy. Okay, here's the finish. Here I have corn. I'm sorry, corn. Here I have cabbage that I've already cooked. I used the ham bone, y'all. I boiled that ham bone and got all the meat off of it. I tried to pull as much fat. If you know me, I don't like the fat. And I took the bones out. Look like I see a piece of fat here. But anyway, so that's our meal for today. Okay. All right. Also here I have some, I have purple whole peas and black eyed peas that are frozen and I mixed together. 